Okay, guys, here we are in uh, a cemetery in Butte, Montana. Long ride to get up here. Came up after uh, Yellowstone, which took us forever to get through that park, let me tell you, with the traffic and uh, the speed limits and everything else. Uh, so here, everyone's going to know this name, because you couldn't grow up in my era anyway without knowing the one and only Evil Knievel. This is his grave here. And uh, this is what we came up here for, to Butte, Montana. And sadly, buried right next door, right next to him, uh, January of 23, Robbie Knievel, who, uh, friends of mine, we were down at a Myrtle Beach Bike Week one time in a bar off the path. There was like five people in the bar. We look over, and it's Robbie Knievel. So we met him, chatted with him for a while. It was pretty cool. I apologize for the wind. It's uh, blowing right in my face here, right at the camera. I'll, uh, I'll show you the back of the uh, headstones. You see they got some uh, flags, stars on the trees. There's uh, motorcycles down there. This is uh, the back of Evil Knievel's. The way this reads, it almost seems like this was at the jump site. But I don't see how that could be if it's the headstone too. But pretty cool with the uh, rocket slash motorcycle slash car. I don't know. I guess it was supposed to be a bike. And here's the back of uh, Robbie Knievel's. It's uh, something I never thought I'd actually get up here, but uh, I mean, who doesn't know Evil Knievel? I mean, really, the guy was, <laughs> it seemed like it was on TV every, every day when I grew up. So it was easy to find because of the flying around the tree. There's another uh, Knievel next door. Let me see who this might be. Happy and Nanny. I don't know if that was his parents. I don't know. But here we are, Butte, Montana, where we're going to get a hotel room and uh, move on to our next adventure. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll get back to you soon. There's Rob. And there's Robert over in the corner. Thanks for watching.